Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Instagram makeup versus real life makeup. So this video was inspired by Promise and Layla here on YouTube. This is just such a cool way to share with you guys my super glam makeup and then my more natural, everyday, wearable makeup. So I do rock both just on different occasions. The Instagram side is definitely more heavy, more glam, more full coverage. It's perfect on camera and for photos and video and then the more real life makeup side is definitely more rare but more natural more something that I go for just on an everyday basis when I don't necessarily want to get fully glam so let's go ahead and get started so Instagram is going to be on the left side and on the right side is going to be real life makeup so to start off I always use a primer on Instagram side and real life side I never ever 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 skip primer literally never just because i feel like it gives you a super smooth like flawless base and i feel like that's important whether you're rocking a super full you know instagram makeup look or a kind of wearable everyday easy look so on the Instagram side, we're starting off with foundation, of course. I am using my Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is my go-to foundation because it's my favorite. It stays matte all day. It looks amazing in photos. It's super full coverage. Your skin does look very like doll-like, super airbrushed. Again, it's very full coverage. I always blend it out with the Beauty Blender just because it's the quickest and it does give you a very flawless finish. So I am using that in the shade 4W1 Honey Bronze. So for the real life side, I'm going to go ahead and apply my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now I got to say, I love this foundation for both Instagram and real life, but it's perfect for real life because if you just apply a lot less than I did on the Instagram side, you will get more of a natural finish, but this also has more of a soft matte, slightly dewy finish. So this just looks super healthy on the skin, it's just more really soft and pretty. And I actually really love this foundation. I'm using it in the shade 6.5. So now we're moving on to concealer for the Instagram side. Now you guys know I love a super bright highlighted under eye, especially for Instagram. I want to make sure that my under eye is really popping so that it can sculpt and shape my face. So I'm using the uh, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm using two different shades. You'll notice on the Instagram side, I kind of mix a lot of different shades and products to kind of create what I want. So I do that a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with a beauty blender. I am taking the shade light medium and also light because again, it's going to make a super bright under eye. This Tarte Concealer is one of my favorites because it does give you a super duper full coverage kind of glam under eye because it is super full coverage. But it's also very easy to blend out so you don't have to, you know, take forever. But I love the coverage it gives. It just makes me feel super sculpted and highlighted underneath the eye. So for the real life side, I typically use a concealer that's a little bit more natural looking. This is the Maybelline Fit Me, which I'm running out of because I love it. I'm obsessed with it. I gravitate towards this for an everyday wear because it just feels super lightweight, super natural. It's more like medium coverage, very creamy, and it's just bomb.com. And as you can notice, I'm using it in a shade that's maybe just, you know, two shades lighter than my foundation. It's not quite as bright and light as the Instagram side, so it is more natural. It does blend into my foundation more than the Instagram side. So now for some highlighting and contouring, I'm gonna go ahead and set the concealer on the Instagram side using my Kat Von D shade and like contour palette. I love, love, love that yellow shade because it's super bright and light. But what I typically like to do is really make it super bright. I mean, how many times am I gonna talk about a bright under eye on the Instagram side? <laughs> but seriously, I like my under eye to be pretty bright because it really helps to shape my face so what i'm going to do is go in here with this mac emphasize shaping powder which is a really 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 pale kind of white shade and i am going to go ahead and pop that on on top as well again just to emphasize the brightness now on an everyday basis, I want something that's going to brighten my under eye because it really helps to shape my face, but I don't want something to be too bright or, you know, I just want something more soft. So I will just take only the um, yellow powder from Kat Von D and just apply that. And moving on to setting the face on Instagram side, I really like to use a loose powder because it's more heavy duty, makes my makeup last super long, and you can kind of let it sit there for a couple seconds and then go ahead and buff it out. Now for the everyday kind of real life side, I am using a pressed translucent powder just because it's quicker and more easy. And on an everyday basis, I just want something kind of quick. I don't want to bother with a messy loose powder. 
So for Instagram, we're gonna use a really rich bronzer. This is the Becca Multitasking Powder in Warm Honey. And I am going to bronze my face just to also help give some dimension. But this is a super rich, warm bronzer. You'll also notice I'm bringing it down to my chest. This is something I do for Instagram just because it looks really good in photos. You look more bronzed. So for the real life side, I'm going to use the Smashbox Warm Matte Bronzer. This bronzer just has more of a natural finish. It's not quite as pigmented, so it kind of builds up really slowly. It just looks more soft, a little bit more natural. It's also super easy to apply since it isn't so full coverage. So on the real life side, I'm going to go ahead and skip contouring because the bronzer really helps to shape my face enough and it's just quicker and easier. But for the Instagram side, I am going to go ahead and do some contouring as well on top of bronzing. So I'm taking the middle shade in the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. And now I am going to go ahead and add some blush just because it will add some extra dimension and color. This is NYX Nude Tude. And we are going to go ahead and highlight. Typically, I will wet the highlight so it can be super intense in photos. This is the Makeup Geek Kathleen Lights highlight palette. I will go ahead and put some on my cheeks, on the tops of my brows, my nose, and my cupid's bow. So for the real life side, I will definitely go ahead and highlight. And I don't shy away from the highlight on the real life side because I feel like since my face is so natural, it'll look really pretty and dewy if I have a really nice highlight on. So I will go ahead and just apply it with a fan brush. So for Instagram, we're going to do the brows and brows are definitely a key, key, key part of Instagram makeup. I mean, I feel like it's such a trend. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use the Anastasia Dip Brow in dark brown because I really like how I have a lot of control with this product. It really, allow, really allows me to shape my brows and kind of get more of a bold sculpted brow. I still don't like too much of a bold brow, but I do still like it to be kind of sculpted. So I will go ahead and do that with the Anastasia number 12 brush as well. And I will go ahead and apply a tinted brow gel. This just gives me more color, more definition on the brows. And this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist in medium dark. And I'll go ahead and use a third brow gel on the Instagram side as well. This is to really help it stay in place and set Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. So for the real life side, I'm just going to use a brow pencil. I find that it's quicker, it's easier, it's simpler. I'm not using a close-up mirror. I'm just kind of looking in the mirror that's a little further from me, freestyling it, not taking it as serious, and doing it a little bit more messy to give me more of a natural kind of feathered brow. I really love this brow pencil. This is the Urban Decay Brow Beater in Dark. I also will go ahead and kind of leave pretty much a lot of an empty space on the inner front part just so it can look super natural and I will just use a little bit of a tinted brow gel and that's pretty much it for the brows on the real life side. Moving on we're going to go ahead and prime the eyes. I will take the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and kind of blend that out with the Beauty Blender for the Instagram side because I really want my eyelids to be super primed and really have like a full coverage so there's no veins showing at all. So on an everyday basis, I typically will just take the more natural concealer that I use to conceal and highlight the under eye and just go ahead and prime my lids with that and kind of conceal them. So for the eyes, we're going to be using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. And to set the Instagram eyes, I am going to go ahead and just take a super bright, kind of really light white or yellow shade that's in the palette that I'm using and go ahead and set that. But on an everyday basis, I will just go ahead and take the pressed powder I use to set my face and set the eyes with that as well, just super quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Burnt Orange for the Instagram side, and we're going to go ahead and do our eyes. So for Instagram, of course, there's so many different eye looks that you can do. I typically will just go for something neutral. If I want to do glam, just the first thing that pops in my head is neutral. So we're just going to stick with that for today and just do a super basic kind of glam neutral eye. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this burnt orange. And as you can see, I'm kind of applying it towards the tail of my brow. This is a really huge trend going around in Instagram. Um, it kind of just really elongates your eyes, give it more of a cat eye, sultry, sexy kind of look. And I've been loving this trend. I've been doing it a lot and it really helps to shape my entire face as well. So I am taking this other shade as well and just giving more dimension. And I'm going to take this deeper brown and give it even more dimension. So a lot of the times on the Instagram side, I'm just applying more than one shadow. There's a bunch of different shadows, a bunch of different tones just to add a bunch of different dimension. So we are also going to go ahead and smoke out the lower lash line, which is something that I pretty much always do just because this gives a super sultry kind of smoky effect to the lower lash and I just love it. So I am going to go ahead and apply burnt orange and also that deeper brown and really smoke it out. And again, I'm keeping that shape of really elongating it towards the tail of my brow. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and take this really beautiful soft gold and just apply that all over the lid. I did also wet this shadow so it could be more intense. I'm going to go ahead and apply that on the lid, shape the lid, and also extend it towards the tail of my brow as well. So I am also going to rock a super bright inner corner because I really feel like it just brightens up the eyes. So for the real life side, I typically will just take the bronzer that I used and just pop it in the crease super quickly and um, kind of messily and you don't have to be precise. It's just a really great way to add some definition to the eyes and it makes it look so soft and pretty. I am going to take the same brush and pop it on the lower lash as well. So I am going to take the same highlight I used as well and pop this on the inner corner. I do like a super bright inner corner even on an everyday basis because it just makes it look super pretty and dewy and highlighted and glowy. So we are going to add some wing liner for the Instagram side. I don't always, always, always do this, but um, it does make me feel super glam. And when I want like a really glam, like heavy look, full on makeup look, I mean, wing liner is what I go for. So I am going to use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I'm always doing a bunch of little tiny detail works whenever I'm doing super glam looks. So that's what I'm doing here. Just kind of perfecting the lid a little bit. So this is probably the one step that I actually apply less of on the Instagram side. This is a mascara, obviously. I'm just prepping my lashes for falsies, so I don't really care about how much I'm putting on and how what I'm really doing them. So this is the one step that mascara I do more of on the real life side because I will spend a while doing like two to three coats of mascara because I really want to make my lashes pop on the real life, more everyday wearable side because it's really just going to bring life to your face, shape your entire face and... I don't know, it just makes you look super pretty if you have a ton of mascara on and really soft makeup. By the way, this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, one of my top, top, top faves that I use all the time. So I am going to go ahead and apply falsies literally 9.9 out of 10 of the times I am applying and wearing falsies on the Instagram full glam side. So these are the Tiny Minx Miss Samantha Lashes. I am going to go ahead and apply some lower lash mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic. I really like my lower lashes to be super, you know, intense. Like I like to apply a lot of mascara just so that it can match the falsies. But I also do this on the real life side to really open up my eyes and make them look super big and bright. So on the Instagram side, I am going to add some definition and boldness with this black liner from Makeup Geek. And then I'm going to take this Tarte Inner Rim Liner on the real life side. I like to use something more soft for an everyday wear because it really helps to brighten and open up the eyes. Now on to the lips. So typically on Instagram, I'm wearing more bolder lip colors, different colors, deeper colors, just stuff that are more out there. So this is the Dose of Colors cork liquid lipstick and I'm always using a liquid lipstick even on the real life side so I'm gonna go ahead and overline my lips quite a bit too just because I really like to make my top lip look a little fuller than it actually is because my bottom lip is quite full and then my top lip totally isn't so I am also gonna go ahead and mix in pumpkin from Kylie cosmetics I'm always mixing like 30 different lip colors in together so for more of an everyday wear, I always go for a nude lip color just because it's something super easy and I don't have to think twice about it. I love Exposed by Kylie Cosmetics. Now I will still overline my lips just a tiny bit on this side to make my lips look fuller, but not nearly as much as the Instagram side. So that is it for my Instagram versus real life makeup. Let me know what you guys think. How do you like this video? And let me know what side you prefer. Which side do you guys wear more often? Are you like me where you kind of wear both just on different occasions? Or do you totally rock the real life side or the Instagram side? Let me know. What do you guys think? So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will of course see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.